Hello, this is Dr. Krause with another quick video trying to get my students up to speed with Jupyter and Python. Um, one really common uh, situation is that um, we've got some kind of data file or something that we're trying to load into Python to generate a graph or something, and it seems somehow complicated because the CSV file or the data file and the Jupyter notebook are not in the same folder, but maybe we don't realize that. And part of the trick with all of this is that because Jupyter Notebook is running off of an HTML server and uh, there's just limitations with good security reasons for moving files around from your web browser, um, it just is a little bit extra complicated for students to get out of their minds that I can't easily just do a save as and move into a different folder in the way that I would if this were some kind of GUI app that wasn't running in a web browser. Now, there are ways to do a download. So file, download as, and I can move, not really move, but I can create a copy in a new location in this way. And students have done that in the past in my classes. The trick is that tends to generate multiple copies of things. And then students just get confused because they don't know exactly which copy they were working on and which copy is not and which copy is in which folder. And it just is messy. Um, so I want to, this is kind of a weird introduction. I want to introduce you to a few basic Linux commands that you can run from inside Jupyter. And then I want to land on, um, ultimately, you're going to want to go to your File Explorer app in Windows or your Finder in Mac move stuff around there first and then come back to Jupyter and have all your files in the correct location and work with them. But you wouldn't know that this was a problem if you didn't have some of these tools. So there are three really common um, Linux commands or I mean and some people might get kind of grumpy. Is this a Linux command? Is it a Unix command? Is it a bash command? Can I just call it a terminal command? What if I don't like bash and I want to talk about some other shell? And that's like a whole rabbit hole that we're just not going to deal with. Um, so CD is probably your most common command if you were just going to work from a terminal that helps you move to different folders or directories. Change directory is what it is short for. Um, but within Jupyter, I'm going to caution you not to use that. Um, I think that will get weird in some really important ways. It is much better, like I said, to move things around in your Finder or File Explorer apps and then come back to Jupyter and have things already in the correct location. So I don't want you to use CD. LS is another really common one. And this tells me everything. It lists the contents of the current directory. So whatever directory I'm currently in has these three things. Now, one thing, if you're paying attention, that you might notice, if I said we were trying to load a data file, I can also pass in. So the asterisk um, or little star is a wildcard and so ls star.csv would be show me all the csv files and this tells me that there aren't any csv files so i know right there that if i'm trying to load something out of a data file that data file is not in this folder and you might go huh that's weird i really kind of assumed that it would be and so if i come in here and type pwd print working directory i could find exactly where i am and go, okay, this, I know where that folder is. Why is my CSV file not in that folder? And like I said, that's where I would go over to my finder. I would go into the folder that contains my notebook and go, oh, okay, yeah, there's no CSV file here. And then I could either copy this or cut this or move this to a different location. I guess technically I'm working on that one. Or I could know where my data file is and use my Finder app to drag my data file into the correct location. And now if I come back over here and re-execute my ls command, um, there is actually one uh, CSV file there. If I looked at the whole contents, I would see these things. And now I could load this file and graph it or whatever. So all that to say, probably want to avoid CD, though if you're learning to use your terminal application on your Mac for the first time, you're going to need that a lot. Just don't do it inside Jupyter. LS is going to tell me what's in the current folder. 
um, ls star.csv or ls star.py or ls star.whatever allows me to search for certain files. And then pwd allows me to print the working directory. And all of that is kind of necessary because I don't have, um, because I'm working from a web interface and it's not really clear how to move files around. So hopefully that um, avoids some confusion and is helpful to get you started with Jupyter Notebooks.